week's video, the top 5 best diuretic foods and remedies that will help people with kidney problems lower their creatinine levels in a 100% safe and natural way. Gathering here, natural diuretics are key for a better kidney health. They don't just lower your blood pressure, your serum potassium and get you rid of extra sodium. They will directly help you lower your creatinine levels. When too much water starts to accumulate, it causes serious problems. Edema is common in those with CKD and it causes uncle and feet to swell, but it can also affect the lungs, causing shortness of breath. Not to mention that extra water is always linked to high levels of sodium, potassium and high blood pressure. It's clear we need ways to get rid of extra fluid when fighting CKD. Prescription and OTC diuretics can help, but they also come with serious side effects. Prescription diuretics will deplete your body of essential vitamins and minerals such as zinc, vitamin B1, and vitamin C. And they are also linked to the triple whammy, a serious kidney damage caused by a common combination of prescription medications. OTC diuretics are almost always full of caffeine and potassium and they may be even more dangerous. Diuretics can also lower the body's levels of a crucial mineral and this is a sure way to damage the kidneys. Watch the whole video because this is the mineral you want to supplement the most as it also comes with diuretic properties and will help kidney health in many ways. That's our number one for today, don't miss it. Before that, our number five. These are the best foods with natural diuretic properties, all backed by science. Let's start with one of my favorite side dishes, which is also in season right now. I am talking about asparagus. This superfood is one of the best friends of your kidneys. It packs a stimulating blend of nutrients that help boost energy, cleanse the urinary tract, and that neutralizes excess ammonia and other toxins. And there is solid research to confirm that eating asparagus can help with fluid retention and help rid the body of excess salt, fluid, and toxins. This makes it especially good for people suffering from edema and high blood pressure. What not many people know about this delicious veggie is that cooking it in water may destroy some of its precious nutrients. What to do then? Try grating it and putting it in a salad. And also try celery. Both the veggie and its seeds contain a unique chemical called butylphthalide, which research suggests has strong diuretic properties. It stimulates the kidneys to excrete more urine and flush away excess water and salt. Celery is also very alkaline, low in potassium, and it has a very powerful effect on kidney health that not many people know about. Celery is great to lower inflammation. It has approximately 25 anti-inflammatory compounds that can offer protection against inflammation in the body. And talking about anti-inflammatory foods, one of the most powerful is garlic. Garlic really is a must for kidney health. It lowers blood pressure as effectively as a prescription medicine. It fights cholesterol and diabetes. And also garlic is effective as a natural diuretic, according to the International Journal of Pharmaceutical Sciences and Research. Oh, is there anything that garlic can't do? I use it personally because it is also known to help with athletic performance. By the way, I always take it in combination with a spice. This spice does make allicin, the compound responsible for the healing properties of garlic, more bioavailable and also reduces body odor. Incidentally, this spice has itself long been used as a diuretic in folk medicine. I am talking about 
Parsley. Parsley was traditionally brewed as a tea and taken several times a day to reduce water retention. Today, studies have shown that it can actually increase urine flow thanks to its diuretic effect. So consider adding parsley to your recipes or taking it with garlic. And all these foods are perfectly safe in a renal diet and they can help with fluid retention and with any health in general as we have seen. But when fluid retention is serious, they may not be enough. So try also adding this super healthy tea. This natural beverage fights high blood pressure, helps you get rid of extra fluids and it's also full of antioxidants. Number four is hibiscus tea. Hibiscus tea is an herbal tea with a tart flavor similar to that of cranberries. It can be enjoyed both hot and cold and you really just need 5 minutes to make it. The main reason why I'm showing you this tip today is its diuretic property. When hibiscus tea extract was studied for its heart healthy benefits, it was found as effective as some prescription medications at getting rid of the body of excess fluids. And this tea can really help you lower your creatinine levels. A different review of studies found out that it's a really powerful way of lowering high blood pressure naturally. Yes, this is just a tea you can buy at the grocery store. And guys, there is also one vitamin you should keep under control. This vitamin is often very low in people with kidney disease and it's crucial for diuresis. If you don't get enough of this vitamin from foods or from supplements, swelling may be a direct symptom, but you may also have trouble sleeping and even become depressed. To get rid of excess water and improve kidney function, get more. Number three, vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is key for red blood cell formation, metabolism, brain function, immune health, and it also regulates fluid balance in the body. Studies found evidence that increasing vitamin B6 intake may help reduce water retention. Now, in people with CKD, vitamin B6 levels are often too low. This can directly cause fluid retention. Studies also link low levels of this vitamin to inflammation. One more reason to make sure you are getting enough vitamin B6. This vitamin is especially useful for people suffering from anemia. It works together with vitamin B12 and folic acid to create red blood cells. You can easily increase your intake of this vitamin by eating foods such as pistachio, quinoa, sunflower seeds, corn, brussels sprouts, and some fortified foods. If you don't eat these foods regularly, consider a supplement. Remember that vitamin B6 is water soluble. The body won't store it. This is why supplementing all the vitamins of the B group is recommended for people suffering from TKD or for those following a plant-based diet. And guys, there is only one micronutrient that's even more important than vitamin B6 when it comes to managing swelling, fluid retention, and high blood pressure. Before that, some tips that can really help with swelling and water retention. Number 2. Tips to fight water retention naturally Stay hydrated Dehydration can increase your risk of water retention. Yes, you need water to get rid of water. And remember that your kidneys will really benefit from drinking water regularly, especially if you are suffering from diabetes. Weight loss is another not so surprising natural diuretic. After all, about 60% of your body is water, so losing weight is one way to reduce fluid retention. And a way to catch two birds with one stone is physical activity. Regular exercise is one of the most powerful natural diuretics and it will also help you lose weight. Getting your heart rate up will help circulate whatever fluid you have built up and it helps the kidneys removing these extra fluids. Not to mention that it lowers blood pressure, fights diabetes and high cholesterol levels. Now guys, there are two hidden dangers in your diet that you absolutely should know about. Hidden salt. Everyone knows that salt causes fluid retention and damages the kidneys, but did you know that 80% of the salt people consume every day comes from packaged, processed, store-bought and restaurant foods? 
Yes, avoiding the salt shaker is not enough to avoid salt. Another hidden danger, refined carbs. Refined carb sources like white bread, pasta, and crackers are typically high in carbs or added sugar and low in fiber, which may lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. Bad for diabetes, but also for fluid retention. High insulin levels may cause more sodium retention by increasing the reabsorption of this mineral in your kidneys. In turn, this may lead to more fluid volume in your body and increased water retention. Reducing your intake of refined carbs acts as a powerful natural diuretic. There is only one thing that works even better than the tips and foods of today's video. This is a key mineral that's key to preserve and restore kidney function. Unfortunately, kidney disease patients very often have low levels of this mineral and that may cause hypertension, phosphorus imbalance, inflammation, swelling, and even a faster progression to end-stage renal disease. To avoid this and to fight fluid retention, consider supplementing Number one, magnesium. Magnesium is a very important mineral. It's involved in more than 300 enzymatic reactions that keep your body and kidneys functioning properly. Recently, magnesium made the headlines because low levels of this mineral were linked to a faster decline in kidney function and even earlier death. Research also linked increase your magnesium intake to reduce water retention. Guys, magnesium is crucial for kidney health. Unfortunately, magnesium deficiency is very common among people with kidney problems, especially those taking diuretics and in diabetics. But there is one thing you need to know before starting to take a magnesium supplement. Most kidney disease patients are not going to absorb standard magnesium supplements. Guys, if you want to know exactly how to supplement this key mineral, this video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching.